Well, good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Whittler Dave here. Well, I'm just sitting outside, whittling, stuff like that. Not doing the pumpkin yet. I'm going to wait for my wife, Lara, to come back. Uh, she's at a friend's house, so she can do the videoing. And we'll be a part three on that. I apologize for that. So, right now, I'm working on Christmas. There's one of my newest snowmen. See all the pieces. Uh, there's a lot more going to happen to it. There's just a lot of work on these right here. A lot of, a lot of parts to make. So, I just thought I'd do a little whittling. Show people what I'm doing. This That's coming out <coughs> in December. Let's bring you down here. Like I said, you don't want to see the old man. That's coming out in December. So, we've got the birds to do. Just a... It's the little red bird that goes up on his his hat and everything. Uh, round him off. Very ABC carving that I tell people. Very simple. You know. A little cloudy today, but it's pretty decent out. Birds are cheaping. <laughs> I mean, I'm carving a bird. Go figure. But anywho, like I said, uh, I'll do a part three here in another day or so and try to get more done to the pumpkin share it with all of you and i appreciate everybody that's been following me and giving me the likes and 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 the comments and everything it's you know we're just trying to build this channel more and more and more and everything just trying to you know get more people out there interesting back into woodworking back into building what i only know Oh yeah, good old horns honking. This town is starting to wake up. Wake up, wake up. Yeah, just doing this simple little bird. And once I get him cut out, then I'll work on uh, the feet. Like I said, this is very ABC carving. Just a lot of parts that I designed for this snowman. A lot of little pieces and a lot of little doodads. And then you gotta get it all together and stuff. Everything. Yeah, you know, just working well. It's my neighbor. She's saying good morning. And everything. Taking her morning walk. Like she does all the time. Yeah. One thing nice about living here in Gatlinburg. You know, there is still good people. Just not terse around there's just still really good people that live here and you know living in a small area like this because this still is considered a very small little town you know everybody knows everybody and that's the way i i grew up everybody knowing everybody and everything let see this little bird don't have to be perfect i do a little love here And that's basically all you need. Just the silhouette of a bird. You know? It's really you now let's just draw let's draw like a head a head like a little wing right here. That's all we gotta do. Just give it the, the look of a little wing. There you go. But one of my favorite things is to carp snowmen. I, I've always enjoyed the snowman for some reason. Don't ask me why. And I've carved a lot of S Santa Clauses and stuff. And I used to live close to Santa Claus, Indiana, at one time. So I've done a lot of stuff up through that way because it's Santa Claus, Indiana. But I, I just I don't know. Snowmen to me are the best. I like my snowmen. They're I tell people they're odd because I'm odd. You know? That's it.
There you go. Nothing really fancy here. And basically, that's really all you got to do because you want to leave the bird more rough and more primitive. I was asked the other day on a, on a, I think it was my second um, pumpkin carving about my bench. I was really liking the bench that I, I was sitting on, so I'm going to do a video of the of the full bench. And I am getting ready to build a new bench. I don't know, probably later on this winter. I'm going to build another bench. They're not hard to bend. You know, basically, like I tell people, you build them to fit you. You know, what I did was set boxes up and bricks and stuff, and I set, set down and I measured to see if it fit my, my legs. And if my legs were comfortable and my back was comfortable, well, that's really all that mattered. You know, that's really all that mattered. Put some chatter here. There you go. Yeah. A little swoop de doo right here. Swoop de doo. Swoop, swoop. Swoop de doo. Now, see? Like I told you. See the bird up here? See that bird? Well, there's going to be another bird on, on another one. See? I know I got my fingers right away. It's hard to hold this. See? So you got to have, have another bird. So that's where that bird will go up on the hat. And that's done. Let's see here. A simple little... This is his feet. His little feet. His boots. Gotta have a set of boots. You know, I don't want them perfect. Basically, folks, to me, art is, isn't perfect. Because if it's handmade, <clears throat> it's, it shouldn't be perfect. You know? You shouldn't try to outdo the machine it's all god given so that means each one's going to be a little different just like a regular shoe is i mean you every shoe wears different so that's how i carve and i got a couple more things i'm going to be doing to that hat on the snowman I just haven't done it yet I've got I think I'm building five of them to go up on the show I really don't know how the show is going to go we're running into a very bad economy and you know money's really tight for everybody you should be the starving artist <laughs> talk about money lord have mercy yep but I plug on. I um, I plug on. I'm hoping that things will change eventually to the to the better. That's what we need is change. Lots of change. Like I told you, my dream was one time was just to start my own town. Would love to have the money to do that. Just to bought a piece of land somewhere, and right here in the Smokies, we've been great. And just everything in that town was homemade, handmade. Food, food was raised right there. Cattle was raised right there. Everything that you ate was fresh. And there was no roads in. Everybody walked around. If you was a tourist, you would park on the outskirts of the town, and you would either eat ride in on a buggy horse, a bicycle, walked, jogged, it really didn't matter to me. But we'll get you in there. But it was a town that you could turn your kids loose like we were and run and play and don't have to worry about traffic and you know, town it was clean and you would have artists sitting around everywhere. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Just artists. You know. Everything you everything you bought there was being made right in front of you. If you bought a quilt, you know, I got a friend named Quilt and Granny. She makes phenomenal quilts and by hand. So if you bought a quilt and Quilt and Granny was there, well, you'd be buying a quilt from a lady that's been doing it for a long time. Phenomenal lady. 
So, if you needed uh, some blacksmith done, you'd see that. Broom makers. At that, at that, uh, um, church show I did the, uh, a few weeks ago, there was a broom maker there. A guy who was making brooms and he was just, you know, he made brooms. He was a phenomenal guy. You know, that's, that's the type of people that live in the town. You know, they like that. You'd have anybody that sold there are considered makers. Everything was sold there had to be made there. It's like food when you, you would be all freshly cooked like it was originally cooked and no preservatives. So anything you was eating was all natural. Now that would be a town to me. That was a dream. Now it's really getting too old. I guess we all have dreams, don't we? Just everybody got along. That's that's what what's what we need to do is just get along. Show this world love. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just kinda getting some little doodaddies there. This is his let's see her. Ah, that would be his uh I'm looking at it. That would be his right foot. I had to Well, I'll sand some of that. Look. All right. That's one. That's all you need. This will just be the black. And there's one. There. Now, let's see here. This one goes like this. And this one goes like this. Okay. So you got two of them. So you get a right and a left. <laughs> you know the old man. I'll I'll make a mistake. And I'll have I'll carve two rights and not two, and then have you know no lefts or two lefts and no right. You know, like because you can reverse them. Like I said, when I draw this and design this, it I designed it very easy, very simple. Something that's really very easy to build. It's just time consuming. I mean, there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's 13 pieces of wood in this one snowman. And I even carved the little dial rod that the bird is put on you know why buy a dial rod I mean it's supposed to be all handmade and I want the imperfections and stuff and I just take a small piece of wood and carve the dial rod you know like I said you want the imperfections you want it to you know when people buy it they know 100% that it was handmade handmade with love That's with all I tell people when you buy a product of mine Take it home, you take part of me home. You take my soul, you take my love. Um, you take a something that I've done for so many years. It's just like breathing to me. I mean, I was drawing again this morning. You know, I draw in my sleep. I, I just can't shut my brain off, folks. Nope. This can't. Like I said, when my wife's been gone for a couple of days, she had some things that she wanted to help a friend out and was having some trouble. That's us. We help people. So she was helping a friend out. And, and so she's been gone for a couple of days. And when she gets back, maybe this weekend, we'll start back on that pumpkin. And I'll get close to mainly do start doing some chisel, light chisel work, and some, then into the knife. And everything. Get it 
done. I'm not going to do too many pumpkins. I don't have a, I don't have a Halloween show. I actually never did. Never did have a Halloween show here, back where I'm originally from. Yes, I did a Halloween show, an October show, October Fest. It was called. It was in a small little town. And they probably got one, but you know, like I told people, you've got to factor in all the gas, and if you have to get a motel, and all that. And I try to do shows that are close, that I can come home and sleep in my own bed. As you start taking that out of your billfold, the way that everything costs, you're not really making anything. Time you pay for the show and all that, you're really not helping yourself. Starving artist. <laughs> I'm telling you. Look like the body's all carved on these. Now all I'm doing is, like I said, I'm just finishing up some of these shoes. And I've got so many pieces to make, and I've got to carve the little eyes, and then the, the little bit of coal that <clears throat> goes down the body. i got two pieces and everything. You know, what's nice about that, coal is not perfect. Coal was irregular, and that's how I carved the eyes in the coal. I don't, if one eye is a little different than the other, well, that's what you want, because it was just like... When you went outside and you found a piece of coal when you were a kid. So I lived by the railroad tracks. So and there was where I grew up, there was nothing but mines everywhere. That's how people used to heat their home. They'd walk down the tracks, pick up drop coal. Many a times, we did it. I did it. I heated my shop like that. Just the coal that fell out of the trains. We just took a bucket and walked down the tracks and picked up the coat. Yeah, see? There's another one. Very simple. Just a simple little snow. I got both of them. Got the right and the left. Okay. That's got the bird. Okay. Now arms. You have a right and you have a left, naturally. So little arms. Just most to make them look like they're sticks. Now this is going against the grain. So you know me, I'm not going to waste my knife, sit there and chatter this thing to death. You know. So, I was telling uh, Gene Metzer the other day, when we were carving together, <clears throat> why I used the exacto knife. I'm just not going to destroy a blade. Why? You know, see how it's picking, it's picking the grain up, this is all against grain. And I don't want it perfect, because this is supposed to look like a stick. Like you found a stick outside. That's why I just wood burn, burn it, and it's good enough for me. You know, all this is going against grain, against grain, against grain. You just want a couple little chatter marks on it. That's about it. <clears throat> and I was telling Gene, you know, I'm just not going to destroy a blade and sit there and have to sharpen all the time over just something like this. I really use my blades for the good carvings that I do. The ones that are totally different than me. These are good carvings, but, you know, ones with, with the grain that runs the right direction and with all this crisscross grain. I hope everybody understands that. There's going to be some carvers out there that say I'm wrong, but, well, I guess, I, you know, I've been wrong before. Can't please everybody. Mm-hmm. I don't know if my friend Brian's in town or not because he was supposed to come home from Texas, you know, back here to Gatlinburg, 
I haven't seen anything from him. Of course, he was supposed to fly into Knoxville about, Lord, about 1.30 or so. And, you know, if the plane was late, well, 1.30 could be 2.30 or 2.30 could be 4.30, you know. Uh, you never know. Could have a delay over, you know. Could be anything, so I don't want to call him. Because if he's got in, you know, early this morning, well, that means he's in bed probably. Or he should be. <laughs> or if he's like me, crazy old man, can't sleep. Well, it's a different story. Very simple. Think like a stick. And it will be fine. Yeah, last year I did a, for two years I did a different snowman up on the mountain. So I redesigned, I drawed this actually last year, part of it. And then I started just thinking, how can I, you know, make it more, you know, more realistic. That's a word, big word for the old man. <laughs> so, this was my version. Just making it more real and, and stuff like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to get you back up here. As you can tell, the arm, the arm, another arm, just like this arm. You know, don't have to be perfect, folks. You're going to hear me say that over and over. It's supposed to look like a stick. You know, everyone's going to be a little different because old Whittler Dave is not a machine. Nope. Not. Drop this elbow down just a little bit. She is basically done. You don't have to be great. Look at that. That arm's done. And like I said, got another arm to carve. Okay, that's that one right there. Everything. Well, I don't want to continue this because I know I'm getting real close to the time and everything. So I want to get you up here. Bring you back up here. Don't want to run out. I liked the other day when my wife was shooting the video. It was a lot better. A lot better. And everything because I didn't have to do all that. She could she could do it for me. I didn't have to bend over and stick my old fat head in, in the camera and everything. But anywho, I just want to say thank you all, and I hope everybody's going to have a blessed day. I know I am, and everything. And um, just, you know, I asked you, you know, share it with all your friends and let people know that, you know, this is a really decent channel. And the uh, best thing you can do if you watch my videos, please watch them, you know, and uh, make sure you push the like button. You got to push that like button. You got to push that. I stress that every time. I've been told to do that. And leave a comment because I do answer the comments. If I I always read back on s several of my other ones, and if I see something, I you know I mean, I, I'm a little late. I apologize, but you know it's DavePoston at gmail dot com. That's how you can bring my uh, email up if you want to leave me a per you know a comment that way. You know if you want to see something or you want to know about the bench or something, just jump on there. And like I said, I am going to be doing a video of the bench to show people. How I designed it and why I designed it, and it's, <clears throat> it's my carving bench. I 
I love it. But anywho, thanks to everybody for all the likes and the comments and, sh you know, sharing my video and giving me, you know, thumbs up and, you know, tell me that everything. I, I, uh, I'm humble. I, I say that every time. I'm very humble and I appreciate and love everyone. Um, started this just to reach out and see if there's people like me in this world. And there's, I've met all kinds of extraordinary carvers and builders and makers and designers. So, y'all, my hat's off to you all. Y'all are just phenomenal. And I, I love everything that you show me and send all the beginners and everything. We have to, remember, we have to crawl before we walk. Always remember that. Nothing's perfect in this world. And Whittler Days wants to say again, thank you. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll just talk to you later again. Thank you.